Hello out there to all my viewers. It's Frank here again on this beautiful Sunday morning. Um, decided to do a video on learning to let go, as the title of this video suggests. Um, before I actually get going, I haven't drank any of my mate today, or erva match, as will be the case today. I'm going to be drinking some Jimango erva mate. Erva mate, sherba mate, sherba mate, whatever you want to call it, this green stuff. This is the super green powdery stuff, and this, uh, I think I might have shown this gourd before. I basically cut this gourd myself from a gourd I bought off of eBay. Um, and the stand here I actually bought from a thrift store. I don't know what it was to, but it came on its own, and I put on these little felt pads you could probably see right here just to add some padding and it works extremely well for this gourd so that's my gourd stand so anyway set the stand aside get my erva match going here see how well I can do this on camera making a mess here it's so powdery let's see here Eh, that's pretty good. There you go. Can I see there? Now I'm going to go ahead and pour in some cold water. And this is actually pretty cold. I had th this little bottle in the refrigerator for a while. Um, since yesterday. Um, so just going to pour it in. Here. Just about fill it up. Keeping it at an angle. There we go. Don't know if I could turn this without spilling some. You can see the water there on the top portion and the herb on the bottom portion. I'm going to let that soak for a while. And as I let that soak, I guess I'll get started on the topic of my video here. Learning to let go. Now, this is kind of a personal topic for me, as basically all my videos are. Um, but uh, this is particularly relevant to what's going on in my, my life right now at the moment. Um, learning to let go, you might wonder what exactly I mean by that. It has several meanings, um, if you were to think about it. The first off thing that might come to mind for many people doing a search for letting go on the internet or on YouTube or where have you, uh, it may be for them learning to let go of a loved one that they've lost because of death, uh, the end of life, um, the end of existence in this plane or dimension of reality, the end of one's living soul in the body, if you want to describe it that way, um, the end of their life on earth, you know, in their physical body, however you want to describe it, that end of life, that death. Um, a lot of people, most people, in fact, in their during their lifetime, if they grow to be older than a baby, have to deal with the loss of a family member, a friend, or both. Um, even if that's just a pet that they have, um, a dog, a cat, a turtle, a frog, a snake, a hamster, guinea pig, whatever kind of pet you may end up having growing up, that's still a loved one because you have an attachment to that, that pet of yours. Um, if you lose a family member, it may be someone really close to you, a mother, a father, a sister, brother, a cousin, grandparent, what have you. Um, everybody deals with it in a different way and that's not really the main focus of this video um, because to be honest while I've lost some people in my life before um, 
I have lost a couple pets, um, and, and the people that I've lost have not been particularly close to me. They've kind of been um, extended family members, so I can't say a whole lot about the loss of family or friends, um, close family or close friends. Um, I'm sorry, I can't help you there. Um, I guess all I could say about that is um, you probably never will fully get over it. Um, you won't be able to let go entirely. There will always be a part of them in you. There, the, the experiences that you had with that person. So the learning to let go part of that is the learning to let go of whatever is holding you, you back from moving on with your life because that person or that pet um, is no longer with you. Um, life goes on. Um, I know it's cliche, but it's true. Um, when you die, life goes on. Just because you're not there doesn't mean that life isn't there anymore. Um, so that's the end of that segment. The other, the um, other type of letting go of a loved one is just the end of a personal relationship that you've had with somebody. Um, whether that's a love relationship, a romantic relationship with a uh, partner or a wife, a husband, um, significant other, um, mistress, um, mister, I don't know if there's a word for a mistress in the masculine or if it's, you know, the end of a relationship with somebody that was once close to you, like a sister or a brother, because somehow there's some irreconcilable difference between you two, and you can't continue living a good life on your own unless you let them go. Now, I don't mean, you know, cut them off entirely from your life and act as if they never existed and your relationship never happened. Um, as though you're never, you never were a brother or sister or what have you, but to do what you can for as long as you can, but, you know, if it's holding you back in some way, you have to say, I'm sorry, I can't help you anymore, um, you need to help yourself, um, if there's something I could do to help you, please let me know, but I can't help you beyond a certain point because it's hurting me. Um, and then the other part of that is forgiveness. You know, you have to forgive yourself for letting go of them, and you have to let forgive them for being unable to meet your expectations to change the way that you want them to change. You know, it's like that saying, you could lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink, or a camel, or, you know, I've heard it different ways. And so you could try to guide them, um, into changing, you know, bettering their own lives, their own situation, but you can't do it for them. Um, so yeah, that's the other part of letting go of a loved one, a friend. Um, another thing you have to let go of is certain kinds of possessions. Um, you know, that's a big one for me right now. Um, I let go of my job, I considered that a possession um, a couple months ago, and so far I haven't really started looking for another job because um, I've been working almost non-stop in one form or another since I was about 16 years old. Um, I know that there are plenty of people in the world that start working hard labor at a much younger age than 16 in the world. So I don't have a lot of room to complain, but um, I'm also using this time to sort of explore myself and to explore different possibilities. Um, which way my life can go, which way I could take my life. And making these videos and drinking mate are part of that. Um, so my job is one possession that I let go. Another, And other possessions I have plenty of that I need to get rid of. Um, I have, you know, a TV, DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs, records, um, of course all the stuff you need to, to use those, you know, record player, DVD player, Blu-ray player, um, TV, stereo system, um, I don't know, what else, you know, possessions, couches, uh, furniture, uh, you know, some of this stuff is necessary for the life that most people live, 
but when it comes right down to it, in my view, my current view, I'm not criticizing anybody who has this stuff because most people in industrialized worlds, in industrialized countries like the United States, have them. Um, in my current view, they're just possessions that no longer serve much of a purpose in my life. Um, they're just things taking up space, and that's not what I want anymore. So I'm learning to let go of all that stuff that no longer serves a purpose in my life. Um, there's still plenty of stuff that does. Um, my computer, I'm using my computer right now to do, make this video and to upload it and to do research on things, stay connected with friends through Facebook, um, learn new things, all sorts of stuff. Computer is a good thing that I want to keep, but it's a laptop and it's very portable, so um, that kind of makes sense. A cell phone, it's actually a smartphone. Um, that's very useful to me so it uses a lot less power than my laptop does so I'll use that a lot of times for Facebook or you know for making phone calls and whatever the usual stuff you use a cell phone for so things like that I am going to hold on to at least for the time being um, and of course my gourds and my mate and what have you and so this has been a f it's been a few minutes so I'm gonna grab my bombisha here this is one of those uh, or bombas, sort of a Brazilian style, flat, sort of round shaped with smaller holes in it. I'm going to go ahead and stick this in here. Let's see. These shimmer howls are really difficult to get used to, so. Bear with me. Anyway, moving on, um, this video is getting long, so I better hurry it up. Another thing you got to let go of is certain, you know, worries and beliefs and feelings that hold you back. Anything that holds you back that isn't a physical thing or a person, um, a living thing, you know, worries, big one. Worries are pretty much pointless because what they are is they're worries about the future, worries about the past. You're not living in the now. Certain kinds of beliefs are very, uh, they hold people back. The biggest one for me is the belief that we are separate and that we're isolated beings from one another, which is obviously not true for many, many, many different reasons. But we live our daily lives as if, as if that's the case and it's not true. Um, we gotta learn at our core that we are not separate, whether that's through our religion, you know, our belief in God or um, gods, plural, or the God and the Goddess, or Allah, or uh, Yehovah, or um, whatever you want to call it, you know, some belief other than just the physical body, the mental self, and, you know, others out there, you know, they're not separate things, they're all intertwined. Your own body is. Um, working set of organisms and its own ecosystem. So everything's connected in one way or another. You may not always see it or realize it, but it's true, and you got to learn to re learn that. Fear is the other thing. Fear is the other big belief or feeling uh, that holds people back. Um, fear of change, fear of our own power, fear of the power of others. And power is, you know, the best word I could think of to describe it is because power could be a good thing or power could be a harmful thing, you know. The biggest, the biggest idea in my mind of what, how power, power could be harmful is the power of the atomic bomb or the hydrogen bomb. You know, you drop one of those and goodbye to an entire city or an entire you know, state or country, depending on the size of that state or country, you know. So, 
power has the for, uh, ability to do good and the ability to do bad. So people have the fear of both. You know, they have the p pure fear of being unpowerful or the fear of being too powerful, and they got to let go of that. And finally, the opposite of power, or maybe it's a type of power, depending on how you look at it, love. You gotta learn to let go of love. Now, what do I mean by that? Love isn't something you keep, something you hoard to yourself. Love is an action. It's not just a thing, you know. The action itself is love. Um, love is something you do, something you give. And the purest love is love you give to others without expecting any love in return. So that's the biggest thing you need to let go of is love and to give it freely without any expecting any in return. So that's my sh big spiel on learning to let go. And um, I say learning, not learned or learn, um, because it's not an instruction to you so much as it is just a description in general um, because I'm it's an active process really as I see it nobody has entirely nobody's perfect you know if you have learned to let go then of everything at every moment you know all the time then you're as I see it a perfect being and there's no really such thing you know it's a process life is a process of learning and growing and changing um, so it's learning to let go, you know, um, and that's what I'm doing every day, and I strive to do that, and I hope that you do the same. Uh, please let me know if you have any comments or questions. Uh, Frank out. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day, great weekend, great life. Um, love one another, be kind to one another. Salud.